Hi, I'm Luke from Korg, and today I'm showing you the Volker drum. This is our digital percussion synthesizer, part of our Volker range. It's got waveguide resonator inside, which is physical modeling, and a 16-step sequencer. So let's dive in and have a listen. So you have six parts, and you can play those from this ribbon controller here. And you've got 16 kits in total, which you can save. Let's load one in. Uh, so you go load kit here. I'm going to go for kit number five. And on part three there, we've got a snare drum. But as you can hear, that's made up of two sounds because we have two layers. And we can independently hear those just by changing this level here. So we can take out one layer or we can take out layer two. And then if you've got layer one and two on the screen there with this lit, this is the level of the entire part. Let's load in a different drum kit. So I want to just tell you a little bit about the way the architecture works in the Volker drum. It's very powerful. It's actually a synthesizer in effect because you've got all lots of different waveforms which are called sources. So you've got a sine wave, a saw wave, and then different noises. So you've got high pass filtered noise, low pass filtered noise, and a band pass filtered noise as well. And then using this matrix here of knobs, you can actually start manipulating different things about the sounds. So you've got modulators and envelopes as well. And by using this knob, you can get lots of different routings of those three. So it becomes very flexible. So by using the knobs here, for instance, the modulators, I can start manipulating the sound. Or even choose different types of modulators. So I could have a sine wave and then change, change the rate. But I can also change the envelope, so the attack and the release and of course the pitch so you have a massive range of pitch or if you want to be a bit more experimental you've got the randomizer which is brilliant so you just hold down function and press layer there and it will randomize all of these parameters so you can kind of use that till you get a kind of good starting point for your sound and then build from there. So as with all Volkers, we've got a 16 step sequencer built in. So let's have a listen to the pattern that's with this kit. And the reason I want to show you this one is because once you press edit, you can actually see even further editing capabilities with your sounds. So on part one here on my kick drum, I can do things like bit crunching. wave folding and I can add more overdrive to it I can also pan my sound to the left or to the right or anywhere in between any other useful gain setting as well So you can bring the level up of your sound there too. So one of the coolest parts of the Volker drum is the fact you've got physical modeling technology built in via the waveguide resonator, which is this part here. So you've actually got three parameters which you can affect on every part and you have a send level per part. So on this sound we listened to before, let's turn up the send level. So it's now being sent through the waveguide resonator. And as you can hear at the moment, it's almost like a delay effect because the tuning is very, very low. I can adjust the decay as well, which in effect becomes the feedback for that delay. But once I start bringing the tuning up, you can hear it's modeling a string basically. And that's reflected here in the display. And then when I change the body, it brings in more harmonics. So 
So you can get some pretty mad effects. Plus you have two models as well. That's the string one, but you also can choose it here and then change it to a tube. So as you can hear, very different sound. And this is if the sound's then being sent through a tube, which you can then modify. So as you've already heard, we've got a 16 step sequencer built in. You can just play back. You've got lots of presets, 16 to save into, 10 presets. So I'm on number three there, as you can hear. If you want to mute parts, it's really easy. Just hold down mute. And bring your parts in and out. You can also see which steps are on each part as well, very easily. So I'm on part one there, you can see my kick drum. If I press edit, it will then show me with these lights, which steps are being triggered. So I can put more in. So I'm making my kick drum a bit more busy there. Or I could go into a different part by holding down function and then pressing the part. So I can fill in my hi-hat or thin it out a bit. Okay, I'm now gonna load in a different pattern to show you the slice parameters. So load program, I'm gonna go for number four this time. So you hear on the hi-hat pattern in particular, it's got that nice little double timing thing it's doing. So if I go to edit step, and then look at my part, which is part four. So on step five here, you can hear that's the one where it's got that um, slicing going on. So I can press slice and now we'll see that's the step it's on. And I can actually hold down that step and then change the level of that. So now it's just doing literally two slices or I can make it quicker. So you can get little triplet fills or you can go even quicker to get more kind of grainy glitchy effects. I can also add in more slices. So I've got a slice on this step as well. So as you've heard already, the Volca drum is so much more than just drum sounds. You can play melodic patterns with it as well because you've got a synthesizer on board effectively. So you can hear on this particular pattern, part three is that kind of um, nice soft synth sound, but I can pitch that. But what the pitch is doing at the moment is just gliding through the entire scale. But I can actually quantize that pitch really easily by pressing edit and then using one of the parameters we saw earlier. But at the, at the very end there, you've got quantized pitch. So I can turn that on and now I get a readout on the screen what those notes are. And then if I go into my pattern, I can start tuning the pattern as I want it. Even while it's playing if I want to. I can put in more steps. So what that function means is it basically means you can be a lot more precise if you want to make melodic patterns. So you've heard the sequencer, but how do you make your own pattern? Well, it's really easy to do that. Hold down function, press clear all, same function as on every Volker. You can press play then, select your part. So I'm gonna go with part one, press edit, and then it will show you your steps. So let's start putting some steps in on the kick drum. Select a different part. Maybe my claps. But you can actually record live as well. So all you have to do is press record and then just play in. And I can still see those steps there of what I just played in. So if I want to change that, I can just fill some in. You can even randomize patterns as well as the sounds that we saw earlier. So. I can just 
keep randomizing until I find something I like. I'm going to put the, all those steps back in. You can also change the probability as well. So for instance, on part one there, my kick drum, that's obviously playing all the time. But if I go into edit step, on step one there, I can hold that down and then change my probability. So as you can hear, that's not playing every time now. Sometimes it's missing out, missed out that time. And I can change the probability on every single step, on every single part. So you can really get some neat randomization going as well. You've also got accent as well. So press edit, press accent, choose the part you want. So I'm going to go for part two, which is my hi-hat. As soon as I start accenting steps, you'll hear that them spiking out. And again, I can go in here and change the amount of accent per step as well. Not only that, you can record motion into your sequence as well. So the way that you do that is you just hold down function, press motion record on, and then let's have a little bit of a practice first. So I'm gonna change this release setting. So I wanna get that sort of vibe going for my hi-hat, but I can perform this in now. Here we go, record. So that's now recorded. Or I might wanna change the way the pitch moves as well. So we go like that. And you can see what I've recorded motion-wise because they're lit up now, whereas they weren't before. So it's very clear. So as you can see, I've brought in some extra equipment here. I want to show you some of the connections on the Volker drum. The first thing is the sync. So it has sync in and out. And it comes with this cable. So what that means is that I can plug this cable into another Volker or another piece of a Korg equipment with sync in and out on it, and the timing will be in sync on both units. So for instance here, I've got a drum pattern playing on my Volker drum, and a pattern playing on my Volker new bass. It's not plugged in at the moment, so they're obviously at different tempos, but as soon as I plug that in, sync in, they're locked into the same tempo, and this one dictates the tempo. And it tells me the BPM there on the screen, and this one will follow. We've also got swing built in on the Volker drum, so that means you can get some different feel to your pattern, um, whether that be dotted or kind of shuffle, shuffle feel. So if I press play there and start changing the swing, you'll hear that's got a really different feel now. And I can do the same thing on my Volker new bass because that has swing built in as well. So I'm gonna put that to the same number. Now they've both got that kind of looser uh, swing feel. Right, so if I put them back to zero, they've got a straighter kind of feel to them. You've also got step jump built in to the Volker drum as well. So that means it'll repeat any step that you hold until you release. That could be multiple steps as well. If you're doing fills. I've also got a MIDI controller here, as you can see. So um, this is going out USB into a USB host back out of there with a MIDI cable, and then I can plug into my Volker drum. And what that means is that I can then control all of the sounds and parameters from the Volker drum using this. So for instance, I've got my nice pads on this Nano Key Studio. And I can play the sounds that way. Um, and I can also manipulate the sounds via these knobs. These are mapped to parameters here. So for instance, the level, or bit crushing, wave folding. I can even use my chaos pad here to be my waveguide resonator if I want to. 
to really feel my way through the sound. So other connections we've got on the Volker drum, the audio output is a mini jack, so that doubles up as a headphone jack as well. And you've also got a speaker underneath, so if you take that out, you hear the sound coming out through that speaker. Power-wise, we're using the included batteries, but you can use an optional power supply, that's a KA350, or you could get a Volker mix, and that'll mix the sound of three Volkers together, as well as power all three as well. So there you go, that's the Volker drum. Go and check it out. <laughs>